always really excited about transforming a space into another world. The works are mostly made in monochromatic. Having a color like pink that has so many pre-notions of what it means, like what it does, having it be the layer to talk about all of the subject matter, but then also thinking about pink as this like very powerful tool to do so. So sort of subverting the, the gender norms that get attributed to the color. The works are made in the sort of dreamscape way. I think the role of the modern artist is to be honest with yourself and to tell your story. I'm the youngest of five. My family is very close. I always saw my older sister and older brother drawing. And I remember in kindergarten, I was able to draw roses very well because I would see my brother draw like these very elaborate like love letters to his girlfriend. And then I think that was like a big moment for me where I was like, oh, I can draw a rose like as well as my brother can. Like maybe I can also be an artist. We were raised going to church every Sunday. I was an altar girl. I was influenced by the architecture of the church, like gold encrusted corners and a lot of pastels. I remember like staring up into the, the ceiling and seeing this balcony that didn't actually lead to anywhere. The illusion of it, I think, is, is very much has informed my work. How things are hidden and layered. I think hearing my parents talk about their stories of them growing up in Mexico and it being like vastly different from my experience also fed into my imagination. My parents are both very hardworking. My dad worked at Tyson Meats for 25 years and had several awards for never missing a day of work. My aunt was always like decorating and making, you know, like these very elaborate cakes. My mom was a baker in 1970s in Chicago at Marshall Fields. I became really interested in, in using that labor in my work to talk about, you know, the, the concept of the American dream and the sort of artificiality of, of frosting and like 1950s ideas of, of America and consumerism and capitalism. So I often reference Candyland to talk about immigration and this idea of trying to make it to the White Castle or trying to, you know, achieve the American dream. I was the first to go to college. I'm first generation. It was natural for me to talk about social issues that have affected my family and to tell my parents' story and everyday American life as immigrants.
I would like to see more art that's, you know, breaking boundaries of what art should be and expectations of how art should look. I would like to see more female artists being recognized, being shown in institutions. I would like to see more women Latinx artists being shown and exhibited in institutions. Because I think often art can cause a change. It can be like a small seed that gets planted and creates something larger by just being, you know, present.